Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love. I hope you're doing super fantabulous. This reading is all about love, baby. It's going to be all about love, but you can tune in for the next video. We'll talk about money and finances, all right? Now, if you're new to my channel, like, where have you been? I kind of like would like you to be a part of it, all right? So be sure that you, if you like tarot, you like oracle, you like to have a good time, that you join us here. And you also come on over to Instagram at 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time on Tuesdays for happy hour live readings. It's a good time, friends. And I'm going to apologize. I got a little bit of the sniffles. My allergies are whoop, going crazy. Now, with that being said, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love. High fives and some damp, dirty shoulder rubs, big baby. We're about to jump into these readings, the way they're gonna go. We're gonna talk about general, singles, couples, and then bam, all signs. All right, remember if you wanna get a reading with me, go ahead and book it on my link tree, or better yet, come to my Instagram profile, click on the link tree, and let's get to know each other. All right, on September 1st, Uranus turns retrograde at 27 degrees Taurus until January 30th, 2025. This will bring in those tensions with wanting a lot of change and wanting them what? Right now, okay? Then we also have Pluto retrograding back into Capricorn, okay? So we'll make sure everything's being taken care of. Now, they'll be there until October 11th. All this energy is going to want to create a lot of change and a lot of development. On the second, we had this new moon in Virgo vibe, 11 degrees Virgo, very powerful number. And your psychic um, abilities might have been activated, okay? So you might have really been intuitive. Your downloads might have been really strong. Your dreams were really, really strong. On the fourth, Mars enters in your sign. So you're ready to fight. <laughs> <laughs> you want to fight about it. You want to argue. I'm just kidding. No, you want to get things done. You're making big changes, big baby. Now, on the 9th, Mercury enters into Virgo. Mercury in Virgo, it loves it there. It enjoys it there. It has a great time. You're going to be paying attention to the details, okay? Pay attention to what people are seeing, acting, and doing. On the 17th, it's kickoff season, and I'm not talking NFL, baby, but I am talking about that damn dirty eclipse vibe that is coming through. And this eclipse vibe is going to be happening, a partial lunar eclipse in Pisces, 25 degrees. 25 comes down to a 7. It's divinely kicking this off. It's saying, baby, focus on what you really want to grow in life because you are fertile myrtle in all ways, okay? So ideas, conversations, money, babies you fertile boo okay pay attention this little kickoff between virgo and pisces is going to be intense all right now on september 22nd it's libra season holla at your libras and tell them what's up baby okay and if you still want to wish a leo happy birthday like me you can tell me and i'm just kidding as a matter of fact it's leo season and virgo season also you know because we are the sun and we're going to celebrate my other leo's birthday next weekend so i'm just saying it's always our season Anyways, let's look at our energies coming through. But before that, I want you to think about a yes or no question. In your mind's eye, you psychic abilities over there. And I'm going to answer it. Oh, baby, what's going on? It's getting hot in here. We got the Ace of Wands. We're initiating new things. We're moving forward. We're making it happen, baby. Making it happen, Captain. okay? So... For question number one, it's a yes, it's the lovers, it's the right choice, it's the right decision, and it's getting hot in here, if you know what I mean, okay? For question number two, it's a no, five of cups, let it go, let it go, let it go, all right? <laughs> Let's jump into this read. So we're going to start off with your astrological energy that wants to hang out with you and have a good time. This is Virgo, this is the sixth house, this is your everyday activities, are they bringing you in the harvest that you want, need, and desire? Are you paying attention to the details, Cancer? Are you talking about it, being about it, and making the difference? Because this month is all about release. This month you are releasing things that no longer serve you. People, places, things, thoughts, and ideas. All right? Your animal energy is that of the dove. Okay, where is Prince when doves cry? Okay, yeah, we're going to have a good time. We're going to be peaceful. We're going to be divine. We're going to be pure. And we're going to go forward in harmony. All right? So you're moving forward. And you're making it happen. Now, your Akashic cards this month when it comes to love is that of the lightning bolt. This is similar to a tower moment. Like something major could be coming through. A breakthrough, a breakdown, a breakup. All right? I don't know, but something is breaking, okay? 
And this energy is making you become very contemplative. You're like really thinking about things. And I'm not saying you're going to have a breakup. But this could be even like a breakthrough in the way that you think. Like maybe you're going to redirect your energy about how you view love and what you think about love and the way that you see love, right? And it's causing you to become very creative. You know, you're going to be writing. The second house is your resources. I also think it's going to be important for you to keep in mind your resources are very important. The eighth house is ruled by Scorpio. That is other people's money. That is psychological needs. That is also debts, taxes, and spirituality. That could also be something surrounding your love life. All right. Pay attention to the second, the sixth, the eighth, and the 28th. All right. Those could be powerful days for you. Now, let's get into your um, general guidance and love. General guidance and love. What do you have from a beautiful cancers? Okay, cancer. What you got, baby? You got a fire sign in the house. Aries, Leo, Sag, you. Okay, a guardian angel coming through. All right, and communicate, forgive, and work it out. But definitely, we got a date night on the table. It says, be prepared to be wined and dined, and you can finish the rest. All right. Because, you know, YouTube is doing a lot of things of censorship. I can't even monetize my videos. So, I don't know. I got nothing. Fire signs. They're going to be calling you. I told you. They want to go out. They want to celebrate. There's a message of love. They've been thinking about you. Okay. And the Guardian says, fear of intimacy, turmoil and fleeting and running away. That if that's a situation that you're going through, it is blocking you from what you really want. So paying attention to what intimacy is really want, because you want a higher connection. What does intimacy represent to you? Communicate and have faith, okay? The love is coming, baby. If the dry, the well has been dry, it is about to get wet, okay? And here's the date night for the chaser. So I also see the runner and the chaser coming down the same spread. This is a person who is afraid of abandonment, so they have codependency issues, and the other one has a fear of intimacy. So it's like... Uh, one person is very unevolved emotionally and unable to accept the love and the other one is willing to pour all their whole heart and soul into it. So pay attention to what's going on in your relationship dynamics this month. It's going to be very, very important. Let's get this general read off into the races. What is this going on? We have the five of swords. We have some conflict. We have some conflict going on. Okay. He's like, get up off my cheese, boo. Like. Bye. Okay. And we have the Page of Swords. There's a lot with books going on. I do think that there is like a very special message. If you ever do automatic reading where you can grab a book and ask your guardians a, a question, ask God a question, the higher power, the universe, however you want to look at it. Because there's something that you need to re-evaluate in your life. The color red is also coming out very strong for you. So I feel like red is going to be a good color for you this month. It's going to bring a lot of attention for you. They say go for it. Don't be afraid, baby. And look what color is that feather. It's red, baby. Then we have the eight of wands, which is a lot of communication and happy. All right. The eight of wands is also some quickie sticky situations could be going on if you know what I mean. But it could be fun. It could be a lot of fun. Go for it. And then I have the Knight of Cups at the end of the month. So I kind of feel like you're going to talk about it. There's going to be an offer. And then overall, we're trying to move past this Five of Cups feeling that we have. Of uh, Maybe there was a situation where you were really involved with someone who, who really did a number on you, right? They really broke your heart. And I'm not going to say get over that. But sit and analyze with that. Maybe sit with it. And what is your fear of another relationship? Are you bringing any of that into that relationship? How can you move forward from that relationship? Because you see this lady in red she's not very nice okay but this little guy over here in red says okay you could you could throw the whole world of knowledge at me i'm not moving i'm just here having a great time okay she's not even bothered not even gonna worry about it one time what is the advice this month for them there's a major decision coming through for you with the two of wands and you want to know if it's going to grow with the seven of pentacles but in all all in all baby you got to trust your what intuition your psychic abilities have been heightened baby and there will be a tower moment if it has not already happened the tower is nothing to fear it's simply that something has to go away in order for something to be reestablished. it's going to be stronger and better for you all right this is a part of the read where we're going to go into our single 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 singles and ready to mingle 
Singles ready to mingle. Hey, Cancer. What are you doing? How you been? You know. Let's see. Love spell. Yes, you've been bewitched. Somebody's in love, okay? You're manifesting. You're creating. And there could be some financial issues with this per person you have your eye on. Or you could be having some financial issues also, okay? So caution. Get more information. Okay, I apologize. I'm like breathless. What is this love spell about? The dates. Get back out there. Get back out there. Date online. Meet someone new. Manifest this union that you want, okay? And by manifest, it doesn't say like you're going to write it down and it's going to happen. Maybe that works for some. But maybe it's like manifesting things so that and, and then asking the universe to teach you how to recognize what's going to be your best option, okay? What's up with this gambling? We're cutting out. We're separating from someone. We're stopping that pattern. The per this person also gives you the cold shoulder or silent treatment. And caution, don't get heartbroken um, about, you know, feeling this breakup with this person and letting them go and putting yourself back out there. It's okay. You know, it's part of the process. Sometimes, well, sometimes we all up in that love sector and sometimes it's, it's dry, okay? But it's okay. It doesn't change your worth. Let's see here, Cancer. Let's see here. What is the energy this month for Cancer? We have that of the Knight of Pentacles, breadcrumbs coming through. We want the King of Pentacles. So we are not dealing with this energy anymore, okay? We're at this energy. We are at our kingship, okay? Now, a lot of communication with the Eight of Wands. There is something about 8-8. Eight, eight. I don't know if you did a manifestation on Lionsgate. Whatever it is, when I see this energy of the Eight of Wands going into the lightning, in thunder, in lightning, okay? That means, baby, we're about to have a breakthrough, okay? So something is coming through for you, something that's going to really benefit you. We are releasing the overthinking, and that is going right by gambling and cutting down. Cut down on your spending this month, and cut down on overthinking about that person that you feel that got away. Okay, they got away for a reason, then we're for you. And that brings a transformation to your love life. It makes everything change, okay? And here you are with the hang one, okay, the hangman. This is about really allowing things to happen. We're not going to try to control anything. We're not going to manipulate and by manipulate, I mean like sending out energy or anything like that or trying to like play games. We're just going to be chill. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to enjoy every date we go on. What's up with this Knight of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles. What do we have? We have the Six of Pentacles. So we're letting go of someone who wants to come back and all they did was nickel and dime us. See, she's sitting in front of those apples. Apples represent abundance. But I kind of feel like somebody who's coming back, maybe their abundance isn't as great anymore because they weren't treating you right. And you're looking for the Two of Cups vibe, okay, with the King of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, because you're wanting it to go in another direction. The 26 could be very important for you also. I also feel like you could be going on a trip or going out on that day. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles again. They want to come back and talk to you. Look, 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 I changed. I promise. And I'm different. But you've already initiated something with that Ace of Pentacles, so it's kind of too late. But I'm telling you, if you go with that night, as soon as you start talking about what are we, what is this, they off, they gone. They don't want to give you the Ten of Cups, okay? Which is probably why we're upset with that cutting out. You just got to go on a new adventure. And you're going to get to the point to where, I'm trying to cover these cards because they're tripping on here. The Eight of Pentacles is you not... Relate. You're not going to work at something where there is nothing of equal give and take, which in turn has this person who has a lot of earth energy watching you live your best life. They're watching you live your best life. That's the hermit. That is the energy of like, maybe they're acting like, oh, don't bother me, whatever you do. And it is, okay? So you're going to have a very important choice this month. 
And I think you're going to go for something new. Some of y'all could be into some BDSM, some enjoyment of fun. And you're going to go for it. You're going to have fun. I have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. We're going to go plant our seeds somewhere new, if you know what I mean. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to be real. We're going to enjoy it. And we're going to absolutely cut out this heartbroken, this energy that was giving us the Stonewall treatment. We've got to rewrite that story and move forward. The 12th could also be important for you, okay? So, moving forward, this is an energy of you making a major decision to not entertain this individual that did not give you the place in life that you deserve, okay? So you're moving forward, you're going to start dating other people, and once they kind of see you living your life and like you're not concerned with them anymore, then they're going to be a little concerned with you and they're going to want to come back, maybe tap in, maybe they're going to um, come through your dreams or something like that, you know, you need to keep your psychic protection up. What would this person from the past want to tell you and what, how, what do they, what are they thinking? Um, I left when things got too hard. They escaped. I wish I could make my wrongs right. And we still have unfinished business. Some of y'all could have worked with this individual and there's a lot of gossip. Maybe y'all know the same people. Y'all run around in the same crowd. Okay. I want a future with you. I need to tell you the truth. And I ran because I wasn't ready for you, okay? That, that's, again, coming through. And I let people manipulate me into ghosting you. And so this is just an individual. They have not changed. They are not going to change. They continue as a knight. They are not a king. And we are not playing games with people who do not value us. So who is coming in for you? Let's look at that. Who's coming in for our beautiful cancer? Um, what? How do they look? How do you look? What do you look like? Let me know. All right, we got curvy. We got bottom heavy. We have an individual who is very uh, curved like, you know, okay, goes in more ways than one. Um, nice, ti nice tips. <laughs> nice tan, okay, and colored eyes, Capricorn energy. Then we have a Leo energy coming through for you. This individual is very young. They look younger than they are. They're just very innocent, fun, and free. We have Aquarius energy. They look nice, dress nice, and smell nice. Eow. That is like a big thing. You guys to smell good, okay? And then we got Leo again, but this one is um, a, a tanner color. Very young, very innocent. The 13th could be very very important for you because that number is coming out twice with the child and with the child I feel like this is someone who brings out the, the youth in you makes you feel good about yourself okay what are other clues about this individual before we go into the couples we have the bomber jacket number 44 they make you feel safe okay Okay, I'm just going to hold it up and move it real quick. We have that, the La DP, okay? Maybe they're going to send you some very provocative pictures. You might like them because that's Scorpio energy with that. Um, possibly somebody Ubers a lot or has a very interesting car. And you could have met them online. That is that online dating, okay? So... Trust your intuition this month and go for it. You can meet this person more towards the end of the month, okay? All right, we're moving into couples. These are people who know that they are together, okay? They know each other's names. They're in a relationship or dating or married. What do we got? First card, we got narcissist okay someone who's a little bit too full of themselves maybe they're not a full-blown uh, narcissist but they have some tendencies and we're kind of getting over a cycle with this individual and your guardian angel here is also protecting you and overall something could have happened during the mercury retrograde remember this is a general reading if this does not fit your story do not make it fit okay just take the parts to do so this individual who did a number on you, they use a lot of the twin flame communication, the runner chaser, which came out at the beginning. Um, Y'all are completely different. And there was a lot of codependency that caused this to end. There was codependent en en energy, obsession, um, and emotional blocking. Your guardian brought you in the clarity and truth that you needed during the last Mercury retrograde so that you could go and connect with a real soulmate. Some of y'all may still be um, healing from this situation, healing from what happened, but you're ready to move to the next to the next level. I feel like your guardian angel made you see something like through technology or something came out, okay? So what is their person thinking? Their person is thinking about the Ace of Wands. They, they want to start fresh. They want to start new. 
They're also thinking about the Nine of Pentacles, of like how things were for them when they were single. And they see you really holding back right now, the Four of Pentacles. They're not sure how to read that, okay? They're like, okay. They're very happy with you with the Four of Wands. This person is like, hey, we're going to be good. We're going to get married. It's going to be good. What comes between y'all is possibly a work situation or a mother, okay? But the Queen of Pentacles could also represent another person. However, something is coming in between you guys, and it's going to be hard to balance with the two of pentacles overall there is some conflict going on let's break it down let's kind of look at this a little bit okay now i'm not going to read this as this person is a cheater a liar or anything like that we're going to look at this as if the person who had the narcissistic tendencies and the addiction and all that you've already seen this you've moved forward and now you're like moving on with someone new now when we have been in those kinds of cycles and transition what happens sometimes is that we have a tendency to um think everybody is the same and they're not and so we're just going to look at this reading we're going to be open-minded okay don't shoot the messenger okay ace of wands once you know the king of pentacles somebody wants to come through they want to invest they want to be that for you they want to make things right with justice okay they're like hey Let's make it right. And then we have the sun energy coming in. There's there, there's also talks of a trip, possibly going on a trip. Let's get away. Let's have a getaway. Let's go make things right. Um, they feel like you've been holding on to a lot of stuff, been doing a lot by your own. They see you as a very strong individual. A lot of Leo energy coming through in here. Something could have happened during Leo season. Now, they've been moving kind of slow to how they see y'all established and how things are going and they want to have a new beginning with you the ace of wands some of y'all are having like really intense conversations about marriage um what is required in this marriage what you guys need in this marriage those are healthy conversations you know a lot of people want to think that relationships are easy they're not necessarily easy. They're meant to help you grow. So like when you marry someone or when you're in a relationship with someone, one of the best questions to ask yourself is, am I better with this person? Am I getting better or am I getting worse? And if I'm getting worse, what is the cause of that? You know, what's really at the root of this? Queen of Pentacles. What's going on here? She has the Queen of Cups. So there is someone else that's there. This could be a mother. This could be a boss. And then we have the Knave of Cups here. And then we have the Three of Wands. So there is like interference here. Someone could be overworking, putting too much attention on the kids. And we have to get back and start focusing on our future as a relationship, right? The Two of Pentacles says the Five of Wands. We have the Five of Wands twice. Someone is watching, um, and it's just like, how are we going to balance our relationship? Maybe you have someone living with you. Yeah, because the Four of Wands just came out. It's like y'all can't have the fun that you want to have anymore. Like, you can't have this fun because there's another energy there. Yes, there is a lot of love. It's the Ace of Cups hanging out right here. But there is something getting in the way, and then there is the Tower happening, okay? The Tower does come through with the Five of Wands. I am going to pull on that with the moon so the moon and the tower for me is like something you just you didn't you didn't see this coming okay you didn't see it coming what does this mean what could this mean for them i have here a block on the 21st you can something is blocked in the house like a foundational block and the stability, there is a block to finances and stability. There could be something that happens at your partner's job, something that happens at your job, and y'all are being pulled in multiple directions. This is the energy of like, there is a lot of love here and a lot of respect, and we need to get on the same page. We need to talk about it. This is not the person that you dealt with in the past. Although that person's energy is coming really strong, they might have contacted you during the retrograde and wooed you back to think that it would have been better with them. But um, it, it won't be, okay? So we have to work through this, okay? And that's why your guardian said, we need to honor, we need to protect, and we need clarity and truth, okay? Because we have got to focus on what it is that we truly want, need, and desire, okay? What are any hidden things that cancers in relationship need to know? The child, 
There is also talks with the grandparents or grandchildren. There's something going on with that. There's also this energy of like, when are y'all going to have a kid? Oh. Um, and someone could be experiencing transitions in the family. And there is the, there's key, the key information being blocked off from you guys. And I do think that there is like a sudden change in the family. A sudden, no, I'm not going to sit here and tell you someone's going to die because it's not what I'm talking about. There's sudden changes coming in. It could be financial changes. It could be your children, your child is moving out. Your adult child is moving out. There could be an issue with grandparents. Grandparents are moving in. It's just a big change going on. And I think this was discussed around August 6th. Okay, August 6th could have been really important. And again, I see the 8-8. Eight, eight. So there's also something you were hoping that was going to happen. And I would say there's someone you're going to hear about who might have like an emergency surgery or have to go to the doctor. It's going to be okay, but it was just something unexpected. Maybe you didn't expect it, you know, and it's you. But it's nothing to be concerned about because this is a general reading. I do not want to put any negative energy on anyone. Okay, let's get you some guidance. What do we have here? We got to prepare for the storm, friend. There's going to be hostile communication, and you're going to just focus on your heart, your love, and you're going to be in a good place. There is deceit coming into this situation around finances. But rest assured, everything is going to be okay, but we have got to make an action plan. Almost like family might be asking you for money, like, oh, you know, Uncle Uncle Guardo is having surgery and we need you to pay for it. Well, um, I have to pay for the damages at my house from a storm, you know, like recently here in Houston, and I can't pay for his surgery. I am not the bank. Go get that. Go figure it out. Like, go fund me or something. I'm not going to pay for it. So I feel like maybe you've been the one that who's been like solving all those problems and they expect that from you again. All right. This is going to be for Aries 2 Pisces. All right. This is a general reading. We have here overall, you're, very, you're looking forward to the future, but there is a lot with miscommunication going on. Almost like what you're saying isn't landing in the right ears. Something's going on. Let's see. What is the vibe? What is the vibe? Okay. And we're ready. The 20th could be important. So far, 2, 6, 8, 13, 18, 20, another. 2, 6, 8, 12, 13, 20th, 21st, 26th, and 28th. Cancer, you are heartbroken and hurt. You feel betrayed. And Aries is trying to cover their tracks. It wasn't me. Solution, you got to love yourself. Do what's best for you. Lucky day is the 11th. Here you are as the queen of cups. You're feeling yourself. You're feeling good. And Taurus is bored. Okay? Solution is the words that Taurus is using and sometimes that you use, there's miscommunication and we have got to stop restricting our emotions and carrying emotional baggage. The 19th could be important. Here you are with the eight of ones. Talk about it. Be about it. Enjoy it. Have fun. And a Gemini is like, look, it's time to do something. Let's take this trip. Both of y'all have been praying. Y'all have been praying for something to happen um, in hopes of like change. What is this prayer about? Um, you're mirroring each other. There's a lot of inner wounds y'all both might be experiencing. So watch your words. You are not budging. You are not passing go. And Cancer, the other Cancer, is ready for a new adventure. The solution is look at everything you have built together. Okay, the 20th could be important. You are not feeling stable, and Leo is like, okay, I'll leave my I'll leave my ways behind, friend, okay? But I think you're all out of love with that Leo, and the lucky day is the 16th for you. Here you are as the hangman. You're not really sure where you stand in this situation, and Virgo is like, come and enter the bedroom, my friend. Let's enjoy. Let's talk about it. Let's transform this situation, and that's a damn dirty victory. And this is a very powerful relationship with Virgo because I have the hangman, the chariot, and death. All majors. Lucky day is the sixth. I also want to say the 12th and the 13th are big days for you, and there's a major victory, okay? 
here you are not sure if you really want to give in to this Libra and Libra said look shot through the heart baby I want to do this I've been praying for you I'm in love with you let's do this don't do me like this but we need to be grounded and I feel like y'all are like talking in circles lucky day is the 15th you are hoping healing moving on maybe doing some online computer loving okay and Scorpio no that was Scorpio no that was Virgo because that was Leo, Virgo, that was Libra. Scorpio is being very quiet about what's going on, right? And there's talks about a move. I don't know, Scorpio might be moving and there's a lot of like discussion about how to move the relationship forward. The 10th could be important. You are not feeling emotionally invested, financially invested, and Sagittarius is like, are we getting married or what? Like, what are you doing? Like, what's going on? Um, and I think that you're feeling pressure from family members to like not move so fast. The 11th could be important. You're here making choices and decisions. You're ready to move to the next level. And Capricorn is in love. Shocked. They're like, look, let's have a family. Let's do this. Let's make it happen, baby. I'm in love with you. The 12th could be important. You are here at the lovers, okay? And Aquarius is on fire for you, okay? But someone is not seeing eye to eye, although I do feel Aquarius owes you an apology. The 12th could be important. You are not sure you are at a crossroads, not sure about what's going on, and Pisces is ready to like birth a new relationship with you. The solution is don't overgive. Let Pisces prove it. All right. Overall, stay strong, and your lucky day is the fourth. I hope you guys have a beautiful month. Stay tuned for your financial read. And remember, if you want to book with me, come hang out with me on Instagram, and let's have a great time. Bye.